The analysts, although we are divided on whether or not the said 20 billion naira to service a state debt of about 70 billion dollars is on the high side, pointed out that it is better to see what the borrowed fund is being used for in the state. While barrister gentleman Amigo sees nothing wrong in including about 20 billion naira to service the state's debt profile, Professor Eddie Iragbe and Austin are think otherwise, stressing that the said amount is outrageous and not palatable for any viable growing economy like that of Edo State. We expect the elected members there in the House of Assembly to ask questions as to what exactly is this amount that you are trying to defray by way of this 20 billion that you have located right now. So what I'm saying in essence is that I'm quite happy you brought it from the right perspective that there is nothing unusual That's about unusual taking uh, loans. There is, but what is most critical most time is how do you spend Precisely. what you have collected. And you have been told that we have paid that what, we have, what is left on the table is 17.5 billion. And I think that that, that is transparent enough on the part of the government. So we will start with that law and they will begin to pay from year to year. You remember that these loans are paid for the debtors themselves. If we have a pending 17 billion dollar debt, is the 20 billion a repayment of the debt? No. Is it a service of the debt? Is it interest? Clearly stated. You can't pay 20 billion in one budget year to service 17 billion. It is the House of Assembly of this state mm -hmm. that owes it a duty to scrutinize. Mm -hmm. right, the, the House of Assembly of Edo State cannot continue to put on the toga of a rubber stamp. On the issue of a statement credited to a university done in one of the Western universities that Nigeria is a failed state, the guest described the statement as baseless and noted that Nigeria is still resourceful and was stronger. They however advised the university done to use its time to carry out thorough research instead of making frivolous and undefendable statements. The guest also expressed optimism that our next plan not to stagger 2015 election may augur well and advise the body to be more proactive especially in the area of educating and sensitizing electorates before the election proper. Politics Today is an audience participatory program aired simultaneously on ITV radio every Saturday from 10.30 to 11.30 in the morning. A full one way reporting.